This is why the narcissist is about to hoover you. When the narcissist first targeted you, they idealized you. They put you on a pedestal and in that moment you were perfect. But then they started to feel insecure because of your success or achievements or because you began to confront them on their faults and mistakes or because you threatened to expose them which triggered the narcissist. It caused a narcissistic rage and it caused them to devalue you where they began to insult you and put you down. They domesticated you. They enslaved you. Where you were running on this endless hamster wheel trying to please this unpleasable person. Without realizing that they have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. They can't be satisfied. But at some point you began to realize your power. And realize that in fact they cannot satisfy you. They can only manipulate and deceive you. They can only give you an illusion and a false character. Which for a certain amount of time you were susceptible to. You were under their spell. They pulled the wool over your eyes. Until you began to wake up. And when you did that. It triggered the narcissist to reflect on their true self. And they began to feel worthless and insignificant. But the problem is that they can't self-reflect for long periods of time. They can't be vulnerable or admit their faults or mistakes. They have to be what they deem to be perfect. Which means that they can never be genuine or real. But of course they don't want anyone to know this. So once you catch on you're as good as dead to them. You become a lost cause. And by that point they will usually want nothing to do with you. Unless they think that they can get you back to their spell again. If they think you will give them another chance. And you will just forget about everything they did to you. Because this is typically what narcissists will assume. When they come back they're not thinking about everything they did to you. They will often come back expecting you to take the blame. Or they will come back like nothing happened. Because they don't take accountability for their actions. Which means that they never change or grow. They stay the same way until they die. Which means that even if you do take them back. They will do the very same things again that originally hurt you. Because that's all they can do. And they need to do that to get supply. They can't be vulnerable or connect to you emotionally. Because of their fragile ego. Their need to feel superior to you. They have a black and white mentality. Where people are either all good or all bad. Deep down they feel completely worthless. So at some point they have to project this onto you. So that they can feel normal. Even if you do take them back, they are never going to change. And it's not going to be good for you. This video is meant to educate you and prevent you from experiencing further trauma and abuse. With that being said, here are five reasons why the narcissist is about to hoover you.
one to take away your power when you put the final nail in the coffin of your relationship with the narcissist and you've decided that you've had enough the narcissist will feel triggered because they're envious and jealous they're very insecure they can't deal with rejection or abandonment they fear being exposed and they also worry that you might move on and find someone new so they will try to come back to take control and also to disempower you to sabotage the success that you've achieved since they were gone there are two types of people in this world people who build and people who destroy and narcissists destroy they come around you to take from you they don't have anything of value to bring to you which is why if you look back at your relationship with the narcissist you will remember that you are the one who did all of the work maybe you paid for everything you cooked their dinner you cleaned their clothes you took them on trips but they never did anything for you they expected you to see it as a privilege just to even be around them because they're very arrogant and entitled and they're completely delusional about their worth they had nothing of value to bring to you and yet they thought they were the best thing since sliced bread and this is the false narrative and reality that they have to maintain so that they can feel comfortable and because they struggle to detach from their victims your belief still has power over their reality even after you've moved on especially when you start to heal and recover from the abuse because that makes them question themselves it tells everyone that if you were the problem how could you move on and do better without them it destroys their false narrative about you and it makes them look foolish so they come back to eliminate the threat that you have become to their false character and their false reality Two, attention and validation narcissists have a fragile ego they base their self-worth on the judgment and acceptance of other people and tend to have an unstable sense of self as a result they don't know who they are they're just whoever they think people want them to be and if they try to move on but they struggle to find a potent source of supply they will be defensive and prone to critique they need a primary supply to provide them with a source of security stability and comfort to make them feel like they exist so they will come back and attempt to gain your attention and validation because they need you to validate the illusions of their false character to share this fantasy that they've created inside their heads of them being omnipotent and all-powerful so that is why they will often come back because you're just a tool or an appliance to them you make them feel better about themselves but it's always at your expense because you're the victim of their manipulation and deception you have to pretend like they're perfect and they can't do anything wrong you can't bring up anything that they've done to you or the illusion falls apart and then they will discard you
three failed new supply when a narcissist is seeking new supply they can be very gullible anyone can sell them a dream they always think the grass is greener on the other side and they're always looking for the next shiny new toy so they will often fall into the arms of a master manipulator or another narcissist someone who is just as crazy and delusional as they are or they may just find someone who is not as great as they initially thought they were they may have made a bad decision because they do have poor judgment they lack logical thinking they tend to act on their emotional impulses and they want things to move fast before their supply has the chance to figure them out for these reasons they often make a lot of mistakes and they can end up in situations that are worse than when they were with you when this happens they may often re-idealize you and try to come back to you but it's not because they love you or miss you they just miss their supply life was a lot easier when they were with you you caved into their demands you did things that most people would not do when they said jump you said how high and they know that it would be difficult for them to find something like that again because a lot of people are all about themselves or they just haven't got the time so they want to come back to where things were predictable where they felt comfortable and secure but it's not because they care about you you're just an object to them a tool someone who regulates their emotions they lack empathy so they can't connect to you or be vulnerable they can only elevate themselves at your expense and leave you feeling a lot worse than before you met them four they want something if you loan the narcissist a lot of money you probably wouldn't hear from them for a while and the bigger the loan the longer amount of time they'd be away from you in some cases you may never hear from them again But if they do decide to come back, it's only because they want something. They're users, which is why everything is always one-sided. They just take and never think to give back to you because they're mean and selfish. They're manipulative and deceptive. And most of them don't even have the means so all they can do is trick and fool you which will often leave you feeling sad and depleted but it's due to their childhood traumas and how they were raised their parents likely ignored their needs when they were growing up or maybe they were emotionally or physically abused so of course they would become users and only come to you when they want something when people didn't get their needs met that makes them want to turn the tables on you when they get older people who had a healthier upbringing may be more empathic and they will feel bad or shameful if they can't or don't reciprocate something back to you but narcissists no you will not experience that from them 
because they have a void that can never be filled. So no matter what you do for them, it will never be enough. They will always feel ungrateful and dissatisfied. Five, they're studying you. Narcissists are always on the hunt for supply and they're always managing risks or threats to the illusion of their false character because they're very paranoid and afraid of being exposed for the frauds that they are. So they will come back to learn your behavior and to gather more dirt, to look for or expose information about you. so that they smear your name to isolate and control you and cut off any other sources of influence or support because this is all a threat to their false image they're at risk of being exposed it's a threat to their supply and nothing is more important to them than their supply without it they would feel like they don't even exist it feeds their ego. It makes them feel powerful and important. And it sustains their false sense of self. So if they fear that you might threaten to expose them, they will come back to control, discredit or destroy you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.